In order to make this image more believable, we need to match the colors of our two subjects here to the background and make it look like they're really underwater. So a trick we can use, let's turn off the Andrew layer and just focus on, or Andrew rescue and just focus on Andrew. Let's add a curves layer here and clip it to the layer beneath. Now I'm gonna show you a really cool trick that you can use to just instantly match color tones. So when you click on this layer, by default, the layer mask is selected. You need to select the uh, adjustment layer itself. So with the adjustment layer itself selected, double click and then alt click right here where it says auto. This will bring up a little option box for us. And we want to choose right here, find dark and light colors. Now, what we're going to do is you want to first target your shadows. So make sure everything on here looks like mine does. Click on shadows and then you can click on your screen at one of the darkest points. It's so like down here is pretty dark, so I'll click down there. And now it's matching my shadows to that value. Click OK. And now for our highlights, we will just match them to a really bright value like this right here. You can see that went really far, so we'll probably bring that up a bit. And you can adjust the color here until it looks right. And remember, the goal is to make it look like he's underwater. So he will be pretty dark and he will be pretty blue. <laughs> OK, like that looks good. Click OK. Choose OK. Make sure you don't have Save as Defaults selected. And click OK. And now it looks like he's really underwater. So we will just Alt click and drag that to this Andrew rescue layer, and now they have the same curves adjustment added to each of them. Now let's fine tune this a little better to really place them inside the water. So one thing I think we need to do is he looks really sharp here and he's supposed to be underwater. So there needs to be somewhat of a blur, especially because there's so much like stuff in between him and the supposed camera. So, so let's add a filter here. We'll go to filter distort and let's go to ripple and this will add kind of a ripple effect and make it look much less sharp around Andrew. Um, okay. So it looks like zero is the normal value and then everything above or below that is more distorted. So let's look here. We don't want it to be too crazy. Like this is too much at 61. Let's bring it down. Twenty looks good. Maybe even more. Oops. Yeah, I think twenty is looking good. Maybe we could play with the size of the ripples. Small, medium, and large are our options. I think large at 20 looks pretty good. So let's accept that and add that filter to our layer. Yeah, now it really looks like he's underwater. I think we overdid it a little bit. So let's um, go to that ripple filter. Let's bring it, maybe medium would be better. See if that looks any better. Yeah, now I think that's underdoing it. So let's use medium, but bring the percentage up a little bit. Maybe instead of 20, we'll go closer to 40. Awesome, I love how that looks. Great, let's do a similar thing to the other Andrew layers. So we'll go filter, distort, ripple. And because he's further back, we might want to change how that looks. So let's go to large and then bring the percentage down. Hmm, maybe medium still. Yeah, medium. You know, I'm thinking like just about the same effect. 
will look good. Let's see. Okay, let's go with 22 on that one. Great. Now for this Andrew Rescue layer, we do want to blur him out a little bit more because he's so sharp here right now in the picture and he's supposed to be far behind. So let's go ahead and add a blur to that. Filter blur, let's just add a Gaussian blur. And we'll blur him out quite a bit actually, maybe like 2.6 pixels. Yeah, great. Now we see clearly these bubbles are in front of him. He's back behind a little more. Let's do something similar with Andrew. So we'll go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We don't need to do 2.6 pixels, but maybe, maybe one pixel, 1.2, I think is what I had. I think that works really well to really place him in the scene. We might even want to make Andrew Rescue a little smaller. Like that. We'll move him over a little bit. Okay. Great. Now, Andrew here He's supposed to be sinking downward, but it looks like there's some light coming from below, which wouldn't really be the case. So let's add a dodge and burn effect to this. So we'll add a new layer. When we click on the layer, click Alt, and now we get this new layer option, and we'll choose Mode, Overlay, Fill with 50% Gray, right? And now that's applied to the layer beneath. Put it above the curve. So let's go to our burn tool. We'll bring the exposure down. And we'll just, with a large and soft brush, go over the bottom here, and then we'll make the brush a little smaller. Get more specific down here to really add a shadow beneath Andrew. as it is supposed to look like he is sinking. Great, if we turn that on and off, we can see what we've done. Let's work here, let's add some more shadow to that arm and in here, actually. Basically anywhere where the light source isn't coming from above Andrew, Just darken that a bit. Great. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now let's do the same thing for this Andrew in the background layer. So Andrew Rescue, Alt click on Add New Layer, choose Overlay, fill with 50% gray. Make sure it's applied to Andrew. And with the same burn tool, let's just go in here and darken him up. Where there would be shadows. I think we look a little overboard, so we can just bring the opacity of this down. Or we could change the blend mode to soft light, It'd be a little less strong. Okay, great. Now we can see how we've used uh, curves adjustment and dodge and burn effect to really help them look like they're in the scene. Now I want to lighten up here a little bit because you can see that there is quite a bit of light coming from above. So with this Andrew dodge and burn layer, let's go 
to the dodge tool. I'm going to make tones at about 11%. And just brighten this up a little bit above him. Here, I'll bring the exposure up. I want to, yeah, okay. I just couldn't see if it was doing anything. Maybe we'll bring it up to like 40%. Luckily, lighting underwater is like inconsistent, so if we don't get this just right, it's still forgivable. <laughs> Good, okay, now let's do the same thing with the Andrew Rescue layer. Okay, great, and now you can see how we've used curves adjustments and a dodge and burning effect to really help place them and match the color values and everything to make it look like they're really in the scene.